Welcome back to the Make You a Better Public Speaker. Today is lesson 91, and we are talking about a paradox. Yes, you need to be able to incorporate a paradox within your next speech or presentation. But first of all, what is a paradox? Simply put, another one of those fun rhetorical devices that you are creating what seems to be contradictory topics or ideas, but in actuality, when actually paying attention to it, there's actually a deeper truth or a deeper meaning behind the message. So the paradox typically allows people to think a little bit. So here are three reasons why you should incorporate a paradox within your next speech or presentation. Number one, to engage and intrigue. So when you use a paradox successfully, it's going to capture the audience's attention. And again, when you're proposing some contradictory or even sometimes illogical ideas, this allows the audience to be kind of engaged. But when they're engaged and they start being intrigued what you're talking about, it allows you to express the deeper meaning. For example, you could be talking about climate change and you could use the phrase, we're making great progress in technology, yet we're still destroying the planet. Hmm. What does that mean? So again, this contradictory prompt, the audience to reflect on the complex relationship between technology and environmental sustainability. It's deeper meaning, right? You don't just get up and say it. You create this paradox. Number two, memorability. Again, like I say many times, you want the audience to walk away from what it is you're talking about. So when you create a paradox within your presentation or speech, what this does, it challenges the audience. So when they walk away, they can remember it a little bit more. Now, again, if you're a motivational speaker, you could say the phrase or the sentence, to truly succeed, you must first embrace failure. So this statement of success and failure really underlies the, underlines the importance of learning from your mistakes. That creates the paradox. What is he talking about? Success, failure? No. Learning, education. That's the paradox. Number three, provoking thought and discussion. So again, when you're trying to stimulate your audience, trying to create questions, get deeper understanding, like ask why, what it is are you talking about? Now, you could use... If you're a leader and you're doing a, a kind of a leadership speech, we're talking about what makes a good leader. Say a strong leader is one who knows when to follow. Leader, follow. Leader, follow. So this statement challenges that idea, that notion that leaders can lead. But again, you're trying to create this understanding that in order to be a great leader, you need to be able to follow. So it's a paradox. Again, contradictory topics with a deeper meaning. So what are the three? Again, number one, engagement and intrigue. Number two, memorability. And three, provoking thought and discussion. So go out there, be a little contradictory with your topics, but make sure there's an underlying meaning and become a better public speaker. See you next time.